Welcome back to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Talk Show. I'm the host, I'm Susan McCord. Today's question is, my ex and I still live together for the sake of our kids. How do we make it work? So this question is from Sherry who wrote my blog and she wants to know, how, do you, how does something like this, how can you make it work? Because she's living with her ex and has been for over a year since they decided to split up. Now, they can't afford to have two separate places because he's working, she's not. She doesn't want to have to go back to work and he doesn't want her to because the, the kids are little. They're like six and four. So what do you do here? Like, this is becoming such a thing now because people don't have the financial resources to, to have two places. The scary thing here is this, if this is what you have to do, you have got to respect each other more than you did when you were probably married. Because you've got to sit there and be able to compromise, you've got to be able to, to give to the other person even though sometimes you just want to go like this. You have to be on the same page. You can't be raising your children with different values, different morals. And you know, you might be bringing somebody home and they might be bringing somebody home. The kids have to be living in a normal environment if you're going to do this. So unfortunately, this doesn't mean that your life gets to go on in sort of maybe a better place romantically because you don't have the, you don't have the space to be able to do that. And if somebody's bringing home a potential girlfriend or boyfriend into the home, that's just confusing the kids all, all to hell. So until you can financially make a move where you split, which I would suggest that you put every ounce of energy into doing so, because you chose to split up and having to live together under the same roof is kind of, I don't know, you're sending off mixed signals to your kids as well. Like you're pretending that you have a relationship. This isn't really healthy. The kids need to see loving parents where it's a real environment, not two parents that live under the same roof that barely talk to each other and are completely hands off from each other. So while you're living under the same roof and making big plans to have separate homes, I would be as respectful as you possibly can with each other. Again, don't bring people home take turns on having you know going out for the evening if you are dating and you're okay with that with each other but don't flaunt that under your children's face do not bring people into the mix too early because you're still pretending that you're playing house with each other so you can't be bringing new people into the environment so get out as soon as you can be really cordial with each other under the same roof don't let the kids see you fighting or screaming at each other or having the silent treatment with each other too because they'll grow up thinking this is normal. So I know this is a very difficult place to be and I know you wouldn't be there if you didn't have to be. You know, we all get that. But as soon as you possibly can, you've got to make arrangements to have separate homes because it's not fair on the kids. They are living in this kind of denial state that they think that the marriage is still good and they're still a family unit when really it's just a matter of time so don't pretend too well spend a few months try to get things organized get you're gonna maybe have to go back to work because that's just the way it is and um, let me know what happens because there are so many people doing this and living this way now because rent and, and mortgages are so out of whack you know money wise so I get it but it's really not a great place to keep yourself for too long. So work your hardest to get out of that situation. Thanks so much for writing to Dear Cyber Sue. I love getting your questions. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment. Well, how did you handle the situation? Are you still in it? How long have you been in it for? Thanks everyone, take care. Bye.